Uh, welcome, Greta Thunberg, and thank you. I know you hate it when politicians thank you, but for one thing I really want to thank you is that we know that the upcoming elections will be about climate change. Today, another poll was released indicating that a big majority of European citizens, for them to go to the voting booth for the European elections, will be on the basis of climate change. And this is really partly because of all your great work and all the students and the Fridays for Future. And that is something that we have to thank you for, certainly coming from a Green Party where, we, where we've been fighting this issue for a long while and not always been as successful as you would have liked to see. And maybe that is now I can turn to my colleagues. And of course, I could now turn very cynical in looking at the past, in all the different votes that we had, all the different discussions we had. And I didn't notice that urgency that much as we see it today in the room. But maybe it's better to look forward with all of us here. When we are in July going to vote on the new president of the European Commission, and a lot of you will come back, everyone hopes. I hope that everyone will remember this day when we were applauding Greta Thunberg for her speech, talking about that the world is at stake. But that also means that we have then to look at the programme of the new European Commission, whether they really want to change policies. <laughs> policies to phase out coal, policies to put a real price on carbon, policies to make aviation really pay, policies to make sure that the European budget doesn't pay one cent to fossil fuels, policies that is really greening our agriculture, which we have not done until now. And thank you for the applause, but I want your vote on that program of the new president of the European Commission in July, because then only that applause really means something. And now I turn to the commissioner, because you still can have one chance. In September, you will go to New York to the UN summit on climate change. Today is a good moment. You can promise that you will go to, to New York where you will promise to say Europe will increase its climate target for 2030. Are you going to do that? <laughs> and for the presidency. <laughs> and for the presidency, because you will have your Future of Europe summit in Sibiu on the 9th of May, will you make sure that in that summit, indeed, the Council and all the member states will adopt its climate neutral plan for 2050, including an update and an increase of our emission targets for 2030. Only then this meeting has been successful because then we really put words into action here at the Council and at the Commission. And thank you for that, Greta Thunberg.